Um, so, Kevin, can you give me your definition of a connected organization? Okay, I, I typically call, call it a, a networked organization. And I think it's what's emerging out of um, the industrial era where we had these organizations that fundamentally are hierarchies, where you've got uh, pyramids of people from the CEO down to the workers at the bottom. Uh, everything is just a chain of command up and down, and there's very little networking, a lot of silos. It was a perfectly fine model for a uh, manufacturing world where things were relatively simple, straightforward, and where you had uh, something to make, a, a project to execute, something to do, and using that sort of quasi-military model made a whole lot of sense. We're in a different era. We're in an era now where what really matters is complexity, interdependence, uh, and innovation. And those are the three key things to me that make up the necessity for and give purpose to a networked organization. A good example is, the, uh, is Apple making something like the iPod. Well, when the first iPods came out, this was a perfect integration of computer technology, manufacturing and design technology, music technology, and marketing. And this was, a, this was an incredibly complex product that Sony tried to make, Microsoft has tried to make, and only Apple's pulled it off. Why? Because they have a networked organization. They have a networked organization where the, there are no silos, where they have almost seamless project teams, where people who are in uh, marketing, design, uh, and so forth, talk to each other without any issues whatsoever about ownership or bosses, uh, because they have created a, a, a process and a technology that allows people to work uh, seamlessly, so to speak. So I think what you're going to see as we move more and more into this century and into organizations that are uh, doing work that's, that has to be innovative and creative to be successful, that requires a number of interdependencies both internally and externally to the organization for success, and that are really complex in their integration, there's no room for hierarchy, and we're going to end up only having these interconnected organizations where leadership rotates, where everybody acts as a leader when it's appropriate, where you've got instant and seamless communication at a variety of levels, virtually and face-to-face. -face. Uh, this is really what we're going to have to have to be successful. Thank you very much.